morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today is currently Tuesday and I'm in the office with little Luna and today is a very big day because it is her first day that she's going to get to roam out of this office. We've been in contact with the vet. She is clear and currently Lexi is in our master bedroom. She's sleeping and we have the door shut so Larry's in there with her but she's snoozing away so everything's good. Lexi and Luna have not met yet. Um, so we're working on transferring scents now so that, anyway, it's basically I've shut all the doors in the house and little Luna and I are just going to have a direct path out to the lanai. So this is the first time Luna will be out of the office and we'll be heading over to the lanai. What are you doing little one? Are you excited? She does still have a cough and so that's what we're going to start off with today and so we're just going to do a normal day in the life. Come on. I'm also FaceTiming my mom because she wants to see as well. All right, so the door is open. Oh, well, she's curious. <laughs> she's looking. So now she can head out. So, <gasps> come on, babies. Come on. <laughs> come here. Come on, princess. It's all right. Come on. <laughs> All this time of her running to the door and now she's like, mm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> She's looking at the ceiling. <sighs> looking at her sister's toys. Oh my goodness, we might make it outside. Don't bump into the glass, baby. Don't bump into the glass. Come this way. Good girl. Come on, let's go outside. It's okay. Okay, we're going to check out this part first. She's like, mm, okay, kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh on, God. you want to go outside? She's slowly making her way. She's learning. She's checking out all the spots first. Please be careful jumping into those windows if you do. She makes me nervous. I don't want her to bonk her head. Like, oh, I remember that stuff. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's about to take her first steps, maybe. That truck didn't help. See, that's scary. You're okay, little one. Oh, nope, the truck scared her a little bit. Come here. And back in we are. <laughs> She's like, I've been out there before. I think I like it in here better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised she chose back in the house. She knows it's quieter and safer. It's funny. <gasps> Come here. Now she's figuring out that this is the way back into her, <laughs> her little safe spot. Yep, this is your office. Okay, so, so far Luna's doing really well. She's a little scared of outside because there's lawn mowers, there's weed whackers, it's a bit loud out there right now. So she's circling back to her safe zone. So I've decided to sit on the couch with a little blankie and I'm gonna let her explore the house and just kind of watch her and we'll go from there. Maybe she'll hop up on my lap, but right now she's still exploring the house. Hi, Luna. Luna has found the underneath of the coffee table, so that might be a new spot for her. What's you doing under there? You feel safe? Okay. So, I don't know how long it's been, maybe 45 minutes or so, but I'm sitting on the floor now with the blanket and Luna is still underneath the coffee table. She's falling asleep, but 
when I moved to grab the camera, she started to wake up. <laughs> so she has the option to go outside. We have the door open so that she can explore the lanai, but she is quite content under this coffee table. Yes. I know. Oh, oh my. Are you going to come outside your first time? You can do it. It's okay. Oh, you made it. Yay. It's all right. Cover there where she's oh, coffee attack is happening. It's all right, baby. In her hair. Get it out. I'm gonna be in Luna. Pick a kitty hole. Poor kitty. Oh. All right, so Luna's laying near the grill and is grooming. I had Larry come out. He's gonna watch over Larry, or Larry's gonna watch over Larry. Luna, too many L's. Um, and I'm gonna go inside and vacuum Luna's office room. Lexi hates the vacuum cleaner. He's currently under the covers in uh, our bedroom, so all is good. He's coming outside and sniffing around. Luna is back in the bedroom. She can smell her. You sniff sniffs? You smell Luna? Currently doing lots of filming up on my phone because I don't know where my camera is. It's somewhere in the house, but I've been so busy. Um, but Larry and I still do want to go to the grocery store, but we needed to get everybody settled. So it is currently 340. And once Lexi sniffs around out here, um, then, then we'll go to the store. But we want to give her a little bit of time outside to sniff around. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Lots of sniffing. finished her sniff and she's now relaxing which is good our weather today is so beautiful we've been quite chilly but today's a warm day overnight we were 50s got Larry over here he's scrolling and he's got his Warren report book you're almost done more I'm than halfway there. yeah it's a long read but I'm getting there yeah one of those weird vlogs where it's gonna be like cat vlog slash grocery haul <laughs> my life food and cats <laughs> we are officially headed out to the grocery store which i'm excited for and we have our masks i have mine on my wrist right now larry has his too oh my god it is bright <laughs> happy halloween matt in the cat carrier um, um we had this in between the office door so that the kitties ah! oh god thank you Oh my God, is it attached to me? Is it attached to me? No, it can't be. All right, later, I'm out. <laughs> Not really sure if it's a law or a requirement to wear a mask in the store, because I'm seeing a lot of people come in without them, but seeing people come in without them, or with them too, but we're being safe, so. They have do-it-yourself quarantine kits with sprinkles and ki uh, cakes and cookies and muffins and all sorts of stuff. Very interesting. Here's the TP aisle. We have an overflowing cart. I'm not sure how that happened, but it did. I've just finished unpacking all the groceries, so I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up. So starting over here, we just have Wonder White Bread, hamburger buns, and hot dog buns. Baby spinach, I'm gonna add this to smoothies. That's the plans for that. Broccoli to roast in the oven, they were Two for four or buy two, I don't know, two for four or something. Green beans for Larry. Brussels sprouts. Peanut butter pretzels. Got two of those. It's another buy two deal. 
sliced peaches. These are the best. If you guys haven't tried this brand for canned peaches or jarred peaches, so good. So we got two of the sliced peaches, which Larry likes to add over his vanilla ice cream. Mandarin oranges. Um, Peppercinis. Black beans. Larry picked up four-in-one shock for the pool. Larry also picked up cookies, catnip attached, but separately. <laughs> uh, we did not buy that at the store. It was just on the counter, and now it's stuffed to Larry's cookies. <laughs> so we have sugar cookies and then chocolate chip cookies. This is all from Publix, by the way, if I didn't clarify. Moving to this counter, they had a deal on the honey by three for a certain amount, so Larry picked up three honey hams to make sandwiches. He also got Raisin Bran with bananas, and he also picked out Crunch Original. Maybe I'll specify like who is who since we have such different diets, so you can see kind of like, I know you guys are always interested in that, so I'll kind of say who. And then I picked out the Organic Romaine Hearts for Salads, Organic Celery for my hummus, Strawberries are also for me. I got the organic ones. Baby Bella whole mushrooms also for me. Sugar Bomb flavored rock grape tomatoes on the vine. These are so good. I love cherry tomatoes. They're packed with flavor. Larry's hot dogs. These are his favorite ones. They're the bun length Angus beef hot dogs. Sprinkles. This might be a for both of us kind of thing like to add to ice cream when we're craving ice cream. Larry has ice cream daily. I have it about once a month or so. Um, white corn for Larry. Black beans for me. Four tomato soups, those are for me. Um, sliced carrots for Larry. Organic Amy's chunky tomato bisque, that was for me. Um, vegetable for Larry. Hunt's no salt added tomato sauce. Larry uses that in his chili or spaghetti. Prego traditional spaghetti sauce for me. Two pineapples. They were buy two for $3. And Larry loves pineapple but can't really eat it because of the acidity level in it. Ginger for me, I want to add them to smoothies or tea or whatever. Red onion for me, avocados, yams. Bananas, we both eat bananas and we both eat sweet potatoes. Lettuce to add to salads. And then I never do this, but I saw it and I was like, ooh, they're having a sale on it. It was buy one, get one. So I usually get, you guys know I usually get plain oatmeal and then add my own cinnamon and I add my own honey. But I saw the maple and brown sugar and the cinnamon spice, which is totally gonna have added sugar into it. Not thrilled about that, but when I saw it, I wanted it, I craved it. So I got it, I treated myself. I don't usually do that, so I'm excited for that. And then I'll just top it with berries or banana or nuts or anything like that. So I have maple brown sugar instant oatmeal and cinnamon spice. Kind of reminded me of fall, even though it's not even summer yet, but that's okay. And then the final stretch, we have Larry's donut hole pop -ums, the chocolate ones, Cheetos, which I don't usually eat or get. I wouldn't get them on my own, but when Larry gets them, I tend to snack on them and they're very good. Lay's potato chips, very good. Dark chocolate for a little late night, evening snacky. Buy one, get one. Um, brownie paper towels, brawny, brawny, not brownie, paper towels. Silk almond, almond milk, the unsweetened original version. Organic eggs. Uh, Larry loves these Banquet Brown and Serve Original Sausage. We got two of those. Larry's Popcorn Chickens. Hummus for me to dip whatever I want to dip into it with. Usually a vegetable like celery or carrots or pretzels or that's pretty much what I've dipped with so far. Um, chicken, I'm going to freeze a pack and then I'm going to bake a pack in the oven tonight. And then lower sodium bacon and ground beef to make chili or spaghetti and cinnamon French toast. So that is everything. It was quite a huge haul, quite a huge order. So now I'm going to put it all away. <laughs>
sure if I shared this, but I also got everything seasoning for bagels and more. I want to put it on avocado toast and stuff. I'm not sure, but it looked really good and I've been wanting it for a while. And it has sesame seeds, salt, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds. So I wanted to try that. And then cinnamon sugar. And yeah, we definitely went over the sprinkles. Maybe I have to tell you guys. I don't know. All complete. Now I'm just putting my bananas and my avocados and my cherry tomatoes in here. I don't refrigerate my tomatoes. I used to. And then somebody said that it kind of alters the taste of them. Then I realized it kind of does. So I don't refrigerate mine. And I don't usually use that banana thing because it just falls off anyways. But it's going to go there. And then I need to wait for these to ripen because they're very green and not ready to eat yet. Hopefully in a few days. And now I think I'm going to bake chicken in the oven and then roast some vegetables on a pan and then maybe make some sweet potatoes as well. Okay, so I'm currently chopping up sweet potato just to save on time instead of roasting the whole potato. So I have peeled them and now I'm chopping them into cubes and then I'm going to toss them with uh, a little bit of salt maybe or maybe just a touch of oil and the oven I have baking at 450 or having it set to preheat at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm going to prep the chicken so the chicken's going to go in for 15 minutes and these are going to go in for like 20 20 20 ish um so I will put the potatoes in first. Also, I have washed my hands before doing this. So if you guys are cooking, prepping, or wondering if I wash my hands, definitely did. And in between cooking with chicken, I'll make sure that I wash my hands before and once I place the chicken on the pan, I'll wash it again before I touch my salt and pepper. Definitely a good idea. That way you're not transferring any bacteria from chicken to salt and pepper and anything else. Going in with the California Olive Ranch Destination Series Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I'm just going to sprinkle it over and then it's in with my hands and then you can probably add cinnamon if you wanted to or cinnamon sugar or anything like that I'm gonna leave mine plain overboard he went here is my cubed sweet potato I actually already had broccoli in the refrigerator from the other day so I'm just gonna do the green beans so I put the sweet potato chunks in for 15 minutes at 450 Fahrenheit and then I'm gonna add the green beans for like 10 minutes and then I'm currently working on chicken so I'll show you what I'm doing so I've put saran wrap under it and over it and I'm just kind of like I don't have one of those meat thingies so I'm just literally using a can and I'm just kind of pushing down and pushing out like smashing it to make it all even so it cooks evenly so you don't have like an overdone section and then a section that's not done enough so these two are done as you can see they're kind of flat and this one is not so working on this one and then I'll transfer them to a cooking dish and then I'll season them with you guys and show you what I use and I promise the can is sanitary no worries but I'll wipe it down just to make sure all right so I'm gonna lay the chicken in this glass pan I'm gonna do them upside down first I'm gonna go wash my hands, be right back. And I'm just gonna wipe down the counter area where that plastic and chicken was. And washing my hands again. There we go, okay. So, can't see me, that's fine, we can see the chicken. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the olive oil underneath. And then so I don't touch it again, I'm actually just gonna use a spoon and then rub it into the bottom of the chicken. Salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna use a fork to flip them over and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side but I'm gonna add different seasoning to one of them. Mm. Olive oil, 
drizzle it over the tops. We are done with the spoon, so I'm gonna transfer this over to the sink. So I'm just gonna salt and pepper two of them, but one of them, I am gonna put this rotisserie. Actually, Larry, will you eat rotisserie chicken seasoning on your chicken? You wanna smell it first and see what's in it? It's just what's on the normal rotisserie chicken that we get from the store. Is this it? Yep. Too much. I could do maybe just a little sprinkle. A sprinkle? Yeah. Okay. Let's do a sprint. Let's give Larry this big fat chicken <laughs> at the end. And then I'll just do like literally just pour some in my hand and just pinch it on. His is done. Now I'm gonna do the other ones. One I'm actually mm, the one in the middle I'll put the most on. That one's for me, and then the one in the end I'll only put a little bit. That way Larry and I can both have it as leftovers. And I am sure I am not gonna eat a whole one of these tonight anyway, so. And then just a little bit on the end. Okay. And my hands are clean. Here's what they look like. Now they just need to bake in the oven and then the potatoes have two minutes left. clean fork. Oh, they're almost done. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is add those green beans to this bit here and then just bake them for an additional 10 minutes and it should be good to go. And then I'm also going to put in the chicken because that's also going to cook at 450 for 15 minutes. Veggies in for 10. It'll be hot. And then we need to take the fork out. And chicken in for 15. All right, this is the first time I'm doing this, so let's hope it goes well. The veggies I'm good at, the chicken, work in progress. <laughs> We're checking the temperature of the chicken now. They need to be at 165 Fahrenheit. This one is completely done. This one is probably done. This fat one, <laughs> this juicier one needs to go back in for a little bit. That one's Larry's. And then here is the green beans and the sweet potato chopped up. And then over here is where I have my leftover broccoli that I'm just gonna heat up. Last night was the season finale of, am I in focus? <laughs> the season finale of 911, which was, oh my gosh, so intense, so incredible. And babe, what'd you think of it? I liked it. That was really good. We're gonna eat dinner in the living room tonight and then we're gonna put on Game of Thrones. I just gave Luna her next evening dose of her prednisone and, well, her steroid, and then her antibiotic, and Lexi knows that she's in there. Lexi is sitting here, and Luna's on the other side of the door, so. Hi, sweet one. Hey, your sister's in there. Mm-hmm. So I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye. Say bye, babe. Who is talking? Oh, there's a radio. <laughs> okay. Um, I have just unfinished packing. I've just unfinished unpacking. Did I just say I just unfinished? I just finished unpacking all the groceries, so I'm gonna show you mother of pearl. Black olives, no. <laughs> hoo hoo. So there's an owl in here. Okay. Move you guys a bit closer. Maybe I'll move you guys here. Contrary seat.